So hello guys, welcome back to my channel and first of all I want to thank all of you guys for 4,000 subscribers and what a car to do it. I'd like to thank Subaru Pasig, Sir Albert and Miss Melanie for making this review possible. And finally there is a test drive of this. So let's have a closer look first before we have a drive. So this is the interior of the WRX wagon. So differences between the WRX sedan and this. You don't get Alcantara seats. However, this still is the leather sport type bucket seats. And there's no WRX logo here on the headrest itself. Everything else is mostly the same here. You get paddle shifters here. Carbon fiber here on the spoke. I can confirm now this is real carbon fiber. Because I said in my detailed walk-around review that I wasn't sure if this was real or not. So remember, a more detailed review of that will be in the description down below. So summary here of this WRX wagon, you still have the iSight 4.0 system. Pretty responsive infotainment system and the uh, reverse camera is pretty decent too. And like what I said in my main walk around review, there's a lot of black buttons here on the left side of the dashboard. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my walk around review. On the right passenger side of the dashboard, there is ambient lighting there. I'm not sure if you can adjust that. I'll know later when we get to drive. And there is no sunroof here for the wagon, sadly, knowing that sedan has even for the base model. Now, since we're here, we have eyesight again. It's scanning my eyes if I'm looking straight in the road. So I already tied that out in the WRX sedan. I as well drove that too. When you look away while you're driving, it will beep at you. So it tends to be a little bit annoying like with the forward collision alert. But knowing you can turn some off, it's still a helpful feature. But going for the eyes itself, I will leave that on because of course safety. Since we're here, space there in the back, excellent throughout. You can sit more than three people there. And then the boot space being a wagon, it is more spacious than the sedan itself. There is one main difference that I've seen with both of these cars which could affect the ride. So you have different wheels for both sedan and the wagon. But I noticed straight away the tires. So on this sedan, you get Dunlop SP Sport Max GT tires. On this one, these are Yokohama Blue Earth Eco tires. And this is a slightly thicker tire. Of course, it will be their better road tire. But knowing that Dunlops exist on this sedan, if I were to get the wagon itself, I would change the tires straight away because I've driven that and knowing what there were Dunlops, the NVH of the sedan was excellent. So with the Yokohama Blue Earths here on the wagon itself, let's see on how it affects the NVH. So like with the WRX sedan, so pairing this WRX wagon, it's a 2.4 liter turbocharged Boxer 4 slash flat 4 engine that produces 271 horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. So without further ado, let's go for a drive. So this is it, finally going to drive the WRX wagon. So first thing I immediately noticed before we set off, since you all know me, I'm a very spirited driver. So I tried putting this to Sport Sharp immediately. It won't allow me unless it's a cold start. And I noticed to the idling from a cold start is really high. It's already like at almost 2000 RPM, which I find interesting for, I mean, it's a Subaru with the Boxer engine, so it's understandable. So far so good, so leave it in intelligent mode first. Okay, comparing with the previous Levorg, I also have a review of that and the current WRX sedan. I noticed this thing has a little bit more heft to it than the sedan, even though I'm in intelligent mode. And then, why not? Oh, wow! Wow! Wow, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, I did not expect that at all. So, I'm just in intelligent mode. It is already flying. So, compared with the 2 liter Boxer 4 of the previous Levorg. Okay, I'm speechless. This is so punchy. Way punchier than before. And then, sport mode. Okay. I did not expect that. that this is so uh, fast. Right, Sport Sharp is now available. I'll demo that later. Wow, I did not expect this. I'm really speechless. So comparing, being honest, with the 2 liter Boxer 4 of the Levorg, that was still peppy to drive, but I noticed it lacked a little bit more oomph at the low end torque. This one, jeez, this is so freaking fast, at, especially at the low end. And as well, like in my walk around review, the WRX wagon has a ground clearance of 140 millimeters. And over here, bumps and humps. 
close to them easily, surprisingly. So same ground clearance as well with the WRX sedan. So here a big hump. Goes to them with ease. Oh my gosh, this. So I kind of understand now with the straight pipe review that this is the world's best CVT, if that even makes sense. Yeah. I kind of agree. I even said that in my review, comparing with, for example, like Hondas, this this is one of the best CVT transmissions out there. I am very impressed. And immediately I noticed this has a little bit more tire noise than the Levorg and the WRX sedan. As well, like what I mentioned, these are running on eco tires compared with the dumb loops of the WRX sedan. Jeez. Okay, despite even just in intelligent mode, pretty crazy off the button and it's so responsive even with sport and sport sharp the response time is pretty nuts the, but intelligence surprisingly is not bad i mean here sport just a little bit look how responsive that is wow okay for some reason unlike with my wrx sedan test drive i have no idea why i am enjoying this drive a little bit more especially low-end drives like this and then you suddenly floor it you get pushed back in your seat for some reason the wrx sedan did not do that to me i mean it was fun like driving it at higher speeds but this one low end is pretty nuts so here sport sharp whoa wow right calm down <laughs> So here now, big test. I'm gonna compare now the tire noise with the WRX sedan. Right, 60 kph. Yeah, there's more tire noise than than usual. But still, the NVH here is pretty good, surprisingly. Oh my gosh. Right, I am a sucker for wagons, you all know that. Looks like I found my new dream car. Would I prefer this over its competition? Well, there are only a few competitors out there. Like, for example, a Mazda 6. Before that. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, the simulations of the CVT <laughs> is pretty quick. It's like near dual clutch. Like, I'm. this is nuts. <laughs> yeah, comparing back again with the Mazda 6, I think... I would prefer this over that because I do not want to wait like for example six months to get one and unlike here with any Subaru dealer the WRX wagon is already what available in any dealership although I'm very curious now on how the TS the tune by STI version will perform because that has according to everyone has a little bit more power and slight more tweaks to the suspension so on and so forth that's what I'm actually curious Yep, I can confirm. I think I found my new dream car. Because this takes literally all the boxes. It's fast, it's practical, and lastly, it's a wagon. This is a very niche market we have now in our in our country. And yeah, I think I got to say, wagons are preferred taste. Yeah, I, I really like this for what this is. For, like what I said earlier, very fast, very comfortable, and very practical too. The fuel efficiency though, yeah. Typical Subaru, I've been averaging what? 20 liters per 100 kilometers, which is 5 kilometers per liter. But I do not mind it whatsoever because you got all the power you need already. And body lean, pretty composed too. Not WRX sedan like, but I have to say close enough. So let's go to my favorite bit of road here in Landers. The secret test that I have there. <laughs> so that's the lane departure doing its thing. Oh yeah, immediately the first thing I noticed compared with the WRX sedan. This eyesight is less sensitive than that of the sedan for some reason. Like with the forward collision alert. This one's not beeping that much. Right here, I was still in Sport Sharp. So here's my secret handling course here in Landers. Brakes are pretty good too, it's pretty sharp. It's these wagons are pretty good all rounder. And I will have fun driving this in the twisties. But that pretty sharp, pretty composed. Whew. This is so fun to drive. And 
for two and a half million pesos. This thing is probably one of the best wagons I've ever driven. It is such a good all-rounder, I have to say, like what I said earlier. So, what else to say? That concludes my review of this. Put you back to intelligence before I go nuts here. So that concludes my review of this WRX wagon. I'd like to thank again Subaru Pasig, Miss Melanie, and Sir Albert Hadap for making this review possible. Uh, this is such a good car. I cannot stop talking about this. As well, thank you again here to ADN1011. His turn to dive, his POV review would be in the description down below as well. So hope you guys like and subscribe. And I will see you with more future car reviews. And as well, thank you everyone for 4,000 subscribers. And hopefully more videos coming along very soon. Bye-bye.